Hello, internet surfer. I am Miles J. And this is Weave Review. And today, we are going to be reviewing this beautiful, blonde, now gray wig from Super Virgin Hair. We will you weave. Before we get into opinions and comments and concerns, let me just break this wig down for you. So Super Virgin Hair sent me this beautiful 613 wig now, but I went ahead and dyed her already and you guys can see how I did that on my IG. Just look for Miles underscore J-A-I and you can find a cute little Instagram video about it. So this wig is 22 inches. I did cut off the ends because as you can tell she is kinda dead but I think she looks pretty good. I put a little bit of oil in her just to like give her some moisture and let her chill, you know, let her sip on something, you know, to cool off, all right, because she was hot and dry. There are four combs in this cap, so one at the very back, two at like the top of the head, and then another one right at the center. I'm guessing they're assuming that you're gonna have your hair out when you're wearing this wig, and they assumed wrong in my case. Um, I really wish the combs would have come down right here, but I can see why they didn't put them there because it is a full lace wig and you would have seen the combs if I did part it from like way over here, which I normally don't do. So that would have been really cute to just have it like right here on the side. And also the wig comes with this brush and this weaving cap. We don't need her. Canceled. So normally on Weave Review, I do first impressions of the wig, but I already wore this wig, already colored this wig, already styled this wig. She's on my head, she's fitted, she's glued down-ish. One of the biggest cons about this hair is that it retails for $318.42. That is a lot of money. This full lace wig is cute, but um, this hair, it doesn't look all that healthy. Even when it came to me, like just normal blonde, it still looks kind of a little fried, I'm not gonna lie. I've definitely seen better bleach blonde wigs, like definitely a lot healthier bleach blonde wigs. So for this to be that much, there definitely needs to be like a step up in the hair quality because she's cute, but um, I think you guys could add a little bit more moisture to, the, to her. I didn't even really have to pluck the part. I could pluck it more, but as it stands right now, I'm fine with it. It actually looks pretty natural to me, like, now the sides actually cover my sideburns, it's amazing. All I need to do is cut off a little excess of the lace right here, because you can see her peeking right through. She's trying to steal spotlight, and it's also keeping the lace like from actually staying down, and it's really annoying. But on this side, no, it's the same on this side, I lied to y'all. Let's just go ahead, right ahead and do the ponytail test. Now, the ponytail test is something I like to do with full lace wigs and 360 wigs, where I secure her as best as I can, um, and I pull it up into a ponytail, and hopefully it looks decent. Now, I kinda low-key did this already. You know, we did a nice extravagant style for DragCon this past weekend, and um, I pulled it up into a ponytail, and guess what? It was easy, and it stayed. I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that it still does that. Can I get a drum roll? Can I get a drum roll? Oh, and this isn't just any kind of ponytail, by the way. This is a high ponytail. I'm really not playing with the kids right now. Ask her. Is she worth it? Can she work it? Can she put her thing down, flip it, and reverse it? If you're a nipper friend yet. So already I'm noticing this fits my head super, super well. So I'm very happy about that. Like that doesn't look half bad. My main problem with like high ponytails is like the back of the hair always looks like super poochy. Oh my God. Uh, uh, what? Wow, okay, maybe I need to pull the back down a little bit, but I'm sure you can see my like beady beads. Did she pass the ponytail test? I think she passed the ponytail test, guys. I'm fully gagged. Ugh. Oh my God, like, oh my God. So final thoughts on this wig. There wasn't very much to talk about. She came already bleached, okay? 
pretty much already done for me. Like everything that I needed was like readily available. All I had to do was cut and color that lace, which is also this hair quality is cute, but like cute and like, it could be cuter. She's dry, clearly dry. You can see she's just poking out in every direction. And I probably should add like some hairspray or like some extra oils in it, but I don't want to weigh down the hair too much. So that's why I'm a little weary on putting too much styling crap in it. I'm gonna give it three out of five silver surfers. Because girl, this hair is dead. There needs to be some minerals and oils and some moisturizer put in this hair. She's just so dead and just so thin at the ends. Like, definitely would look into figuring out a way to make it look more, you know, moisturized. So thank you so much to Super Virgin Hair for sending me this hair. I love her. Honestly, even though it got a three out of five silver surfers, I love this hair. As soon as I figured out how to dye it silver, I was like, yo. This is the spring slash summer color. Okay, this is the spring slash summer collection. We're about to get popping up in this beat. <laughs> guys so much for watching and until next time it's been me miles j and i'll talk to you guys all later bye